these people are specialized in, in the knowledge of Quran. Besides other knowledge, okay? So we have our sister uh, Zanitta, which she established a society from zero, okay? And uh, mashallah, we have also youth who's uh, helping her, like our sister Salma, okay? And Bihaj, I guess the number uh, from my experience of observation, the number of hijab is about less than 4%, if it is not less than, than the 4%. So these people are really uh, like al qabdin al jamr okay? Like any holding, very difficult challenge because the, most of the society, they don't believe in hijab, they don't believe in even practicing maybe Islam to that extent. Well, they believe in Islam, very strong Muslims, but they don't believe that Islam is practical in a way that they put hijab and so on. And most of these people will find that their parents, they didn't have hijab. They came, they did this uh, themselves and so on. So we'd like to know their inspiring stories mm -hmm. and also to see what they are trying to do in this society, inshallah. So I leave the microphone to our sister Zanetta and Sam. Sam. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ahla wa sahlan. I understand English, but I can't uh, speak uh, very quickly and my friends can translate uh, it. Uh, they try to speak in English a little bit and Selma will add. Uh, they try. try. Okay. Uh, Women's Education Organization ISCRE uh, started in the uh, 1st September uh, before 10 years. Uh, and we, we uh, these days we uh, will celebrate. We have two anniversaries, yes. Uh, we, uh, our focus uh, on Halqa uh, uh, of Quran and also uh, our focus on da'wah, uh, Islamic programs. Uh, we had uh, many uh, different Islamic programs. Uh, we, uh, we work with women actually, but also we work with uh, children and youth also. Uh, we, uh, we cooperate with uh, our Islamic society uh, from uh, last year, and we have now uh, places uh, from Islamic uh, Islamic community uh, for our work. Uh, we are volunteer uh, many years, uh, actually 10 years, and we hard work uh, uh, many years uh, without many, uh, many uh, resources, but we try, uh, uh, we always uh, work. Okay. Um, uh, we have now a very important program, uh, it is um, a lifelong learning ikra. Uh, we have uh, many uh, different groups in this program. Uh, actually, uh, for first, uh, for uh, for beginners, yes, beginners, for beginners, uh, we have a, a Quran. Actually, understanding Quran and also understanding some topics uh, of Hadith. And also we have, uh, we use uh, different uh, books uh, about Islam. Uh, we always uh, use uh, modern uh, books every, uh, in every group, but we choose some uh, books uh, which uh, uh, which responding uh, these groups. We have beginners also, we have uh, women who, uh, who finished many Islamic programs with us and also we have a very high, uh, uh, high uh, 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 women who, uh, who finished many Islamic programs uh, like uh, uh, Madrasa Yes. or Islamic faculty or something like that. And we work together, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we discussion about uh, ayah from Quran and uh, from, uh, about hadith and something like that. We are very proud of this, uh, uh, this program, Lifelong Learning Ikre, because we can uh, improve uh, our uh, women who finished uh, yet uh, Islamic studies. Uh, uh, I don't know how, uh, what can I say, uh, if you want, you can ask me uh, something. Somebody, I mean, the Maybe. number of uh, students you have, mm -hmm. my number of students. Uh -huh. students? Yeah, I mean, each level. Mm -hmm. 
the beginners, how many? Uh, yes, we have three groups. Yeah. Uh, beginners and uh, uh, yes, uh, but we uh, uh, our advanced group uh, always uh, changing uh, changing programs every year. Uh, every year we have a new uh, new books. We uh, don't use. Uh, Information so they can apply it for their life, or you give them so they can like practice, like reading Quran. Do you mean you uh, teach them how to read the Quran? We have a, a, another a program for practice Quran. Yeah. This is understanding Quran and Hadith and Islamic Islamic topics. Okay, we uh, always talk, and uh, every person in this program uh, always uh, talk about uh, uh, her opinion. Uh, okay. We have interactive uh, workshops. Uh, Maybe we have one teacher, but uh, everyone is teacher now. Okay. Uh, you know what? Like I, I guess that you have this issue. Uh, we will tackle this issue within our journey. I mean, so I bring you some uh, like uh, maybe eleven or twelve the presentation because uh, we have like organization in my country. We call it Discover Islam. This uh, uh, like uh, provide giving this service to non uh, uh, non Muslim or uh, who begin to become Muslim, new Muslims. I mean, so I can provide you by singing. This is a kind of presentation about hijab, about uh, jihad, about uh, each topic have uh, like uh, focus information. So can you you can deliver it for your. I mean students in the Thank inshallah you. yes. Thank you. Okay. This is uh, also founder uh, of Iskra, Shamsa Zood. Selma, maybe you like to add about your role of youth in Iskra and how youth are responding or going or not going to Iskra. So, so, yes, uh, in youth, uh, I have uh, seen that uh, they are alive with that, but who um, uh, youth here in our area, they are always telling just I have no time for that. So. They are uh, that's already learned some way, and uh, this is it. But this youth, which is in Iska, so we, uh, we can uh, really, they are very uh, included and uh, great. Uh, we wor worked uh, last year in many uh, jama'at in this uh, city, and it is very uh, uh, good for us. Uh, They use uh, what we call uh, lifelong learning. It's a very important concept for inspiration. Inspiration economy is very, and you've seen I have a book uh, about lifelong learning because it is very important that. Uh, uh, it is uh, uh, it's a good technique. In Bahrain, we had a project with the uh, Quran centers which is belong to the Ministry of uh, Islamic mm -hmm. Affairs or 
okay? And we change all the Islamic centers to be uh, what we call it Ta'allum uh, al-Qur'an, uh, not Hafz uh, al-Qur'an, not uh, memorizing Qur'an, but practicing Qur'an. Ta'allum means changing attitude and behavior, as I always say. And this one was one of a uh, very good project. We made cent two centers, three centers, a model for that. They did not implement all the way, but we have good center in the head, for example, that we managed to make it like a, a practice center, where they will not graduate people unless they see that they have changed their, uh, they will ask their families and so on. Then we have lots of people, uh, unfortunately, they, uh, they know Quran, but in their life, they will not uh, be applied or they will not be successful. And for that we focus and then we started to bring models. And uh, are these people who know Quran, are they uh, really successful people, successful physicians, successful and so on. The Dalek al for example, and, and uh, one of the cities in Bahrain, one of the yani, states in Bahrain, okay? <laughs> okay, it's very small, it's very small, it's much, much smaller than this area, okay? But uh, we brought, um, we, we made uh, different uh, groups. So for example, for physicians, they have different recitation of Quran, physicians who are studying medicine, different recitation than uh, other people, so that they will uh, join together to help each other to practice Quran in their own community and so on. So that's the example. And they are taught by, by uh, half of Quran from physician. So this is also was one of the techniques. Bahrain, in the head. Yeah, I'm there. What's the culture? You know, 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 you يعني وانا ممكن I've been with you now six months. You never told me that. Not fair. When we visited Eskara, by the way, Arabella, we want you to focus on this. So these guys, when we visited Eskara, I don't forget Eskara because they given us, Ibrahim, a teen with Zaytun. So far, I always remember this. And we always have it as the picture, always. Even you can see it in our program. Yes, we have it in uh, their picture, always in our website. Because they practice uh, teen with Zaytun and Tura Sini. Teen Zaytun, you say, this is the place of the Jannah. This is the place of the Jannah. So they put Zaytun in the place of the Jannah. And they have a program of healthy food as well. Yes, I have a healthy program of food, a healthy food, and, they and we use uh, hadith. This is uh, only uh, and holy fruit, like yes. Yeah. It's my duty to, to establish uh, a center for uh, the secret of uh, verses of Quran. Asrar of Quran, how how is the implementation of Quran yes. in this situation? Still, so, I feel you know most of the people they are not utilizing like, like Quran as supposed to be utilized. It's just reading, but not deep reading. I think we we should read Quran from the beginning, and especially when we talk English. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم. When you say that Alhamdulillah رب العالمين, God for everyone, Muslim, non-Muslim, Black, White. So ignore the differences, but by the end of the day, it's God of all. God of all. I think we should. We need to read Quran from the beginning. You know what? As a deep reader. Yes, to understand. 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 In, in, in this time, in this time. And I think this is one of the solutions for the community that they are to be more related to, to, to the applicable meaning of Quran, not only for ibadah, like 
praying, fasting, like that. It is more than that. You know what? In my experience, I've been a part of uh, like uh, meditation uh, meditation uh, team in Bahrain. There's meditation center. And I am involved there in very rich experience. I don't know why. Even I'm a teacher of Quran, but uh, something attracted <laughs> ايه بقول لك يعني انا كنت وياهم في يعني ليت اولي بس سويت كات اوف يعني اس باب ما اند اي واز ذير ان لايك انديا سمثينج لايك ريتريت يو نو ذير از لايك ريزورت ذير ذي جيف انفورميشن تو باور بيبول تو ميك بيبول مور لايك سيلف ديفلوبمنت لايك ذات سو ذا كونسيبت از فيري رايت اند فيري ترو اند But uh, the moral thing that they uh, talk about, it's all in, in, in our religion. So why Muslim people go to meditate with non-believers? Everything is in our uh, uh, religion and in our holy book, but we don't read. Or even we read, uh, don't practice, I mean, we, read, don't, we read, don't understand. Read. And we don't practice. And Tarabikr, by the way, and I wanted to say, an in inspiration economy will focus on these three words, huh? The Dabbar, the Basar, the Fakr. Because these come from the meditation. Okay, then there are levels of meditation. Without these, you cannot uh, observe properly. The more you uh, use these, uh, understand it in a deep way, the more you can really uh, see things in different way, for sure. And by the way, even those who meditate, you know, you know, We have to respect other religions, I, in my, my opinion. Yani. They uh, we, that we, they uh, are not religion, but they It are. is a religion. It is, okay. it is a religion. You know, I mean, even if it is not Hindu or something, it is a religion. Meditation became a religion now. Yes. Okay. So this religion, whatever it is, still it, is, it has its rights. I know it's wrong. Lots of rights. They are very powerful in discovering the, the future, for example. Yeah, they can see, they forecast. Their ability to forecast as much, and this is because of meditation. The mm. delicate meditation, see it in lots of my books. And I tell them, but the that the Quran, I tell them, we we mention, you know, uh, special. We always talk about a highest value in the human being, and that's exactly related to why people, for example, memorizing the Holy Quran, but they have not applied, applied. understand, and the application. And the reason why they don't apply it because most of them who actually try to read Al-Quran they have no have value in the religion so they, they divert it from it it's almost like they have not identified it what they want in life and they rely on religion like this is the safest way the safest way that you're understanding yourself who you are as a human and God give us this power within if we recognize it and apply it, it's actually this is the spirit. A lot of people, they don't understand what's in inspiration, in spirit. If you take the IOA, in spirit, which is your soul. Now, when you look at your soul, who you are and what you want to do, that's leading to your happiness. But what's happening, we are only relying on other people's happiness and other people's kind of values, and that's why we get upset and depressed. The moral does not, you know, we don't recognize who we are and what we want, we get upset. And we want to please other people. But if you are going to see inner needs, your, your soul, you know, that's connected direct to the, to the superpower, the God. And that's the other religion who goes, for example, for doing a, a meditation, they are going for their own value. Because they listen to their own values, so they didn't meditate. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, and, and, and I know in Bahrain, sometimes they get up in the morning mm -hmm. to do meditation, mm -hmm. but they don't get up in the morning for prayer. Yeah. You see? Yes. Because there they want it. It's, it is like, you know, and they don't know if they connect deeply inside to what they want, they will wake up early morning and to pray. Praying early morning is actually connecting directly your soul, your body with the universe. And that's why morning, early morning before the sun rise, it's a superpower connected with your, with your, with your creator. So it, it requires understanding and application more than just reading and reciting. You know, people sometimes wear hijab, but they are, it is only costumes. We want to have the real hijab is inside. So when you have this half-connected, you say, 
It's the head and the body. It's the mind and the body. If what's in my mind, different than with my body, this we, we don't have coherent. It's just it's me. We are not in balance. Our thinking different, we think different and we behave different. So we need the way how we think right and we behave the same way of thinking. And that's really inspiration. Thank you. I feel that you are very tired and we, we are fasting and you have a two, uh, two hadiyah for because we're fasting and you, uh, you give a, uh, I think you bring. You,